when you're doing smooth skies like this, this is where the, the dry brush technique comes in very handy. I just take the palette there and take a, I think I've got a flat brush here somewhere. Just get a clean one. Come a clean one, useful thing. This dry brush technique, and you'll see that I'm as I'm taking here is very, very little white onto the brush, and just a trace of color. Okay, so it's very little in terms of actual amounts of color, and then we just work that into the surface very gently. A wee bit uh, more effort into it. The more you, the more you uh, use up the paint on the brush. See if I can do that and see, see it a bit more clearly as it goes on there. So it's not almost white, but um, trace of colour in there as well. And here I'm using circles mostly. It's just got a bit too bit too dry there so I just lost that wee bit just dissipate some of that water there and then uh, just spread it around a wee bit until it calms down and then we can work all this into the surface if it was pure white it would just give a sheen but because we've got a little bit of colour on there it'll, it'll mix with a previous colour. Let's give you a bit of debris in there. And this bit up here where I've got I've gone too far, of course we can come back and add a wee bit of I've got sap green here and uh, primary blue. Just mix those together. And then we can work those into the surface, back into the surface up here. You get the idea. Slowly but surely, we can get a very, very smooth transition. If, 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 if that's what you're looking for, in between these areas. You see how it's, it's got a bit too dry there. Touch more, touch of water. Just spread it around a wee bit. It's got a bit too wet. A little bit of kitchen rolls handy for that. Dry off the brush. An awful lot of painting like this is controlling the amount of water that's on the surface and on the brush. You see how that smooths out the area there. And I'd let that bit dry now and then it could be worked in um, a bit later. Okay, so that's the use of dry and semi-dry um, brush techniques.